So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and a blank table, but not for long. I want to show you what I picked up at Warfare recently. Um, the Conquest Games uh, stand caught my eye. Um, and even though I'd sort of sworn that I wasn't going to do any more Normans, I ended up buying a whole load of Normans from them. Um, because I really liked these figures. So they've got a range, um, Robin Hood range, which are all characters based around um, the story, Robin Hood story. And um, I just thought these were so awesome, I had to pick some up. So oops, try and open this packet and I'll show you what these look like. So these are, well, this is one model either in a cavalry format or as a foot. Man, this is Guy Gisborne. And I think he's a really, really good model. That's obviously the mounted version. And his horse. Very good indeed. And the dismounted version. With a slaughter base. That's them. I also picked up a pack of Norman Command because I like the look of them too. <coughs> so childproof packs, which is uh, always dangerous for me. So I say this is Norman Command. Really nice, crisp model. Great animation on him. Again, you've got a mounted and dismounted version by the look of it. A slightly critical of that one, he's a bit thin, a bit weedy. I love the standard bearer, that was what I fell in love with this pack. Awesome, awesome standard bearer. There you go. There's a dismounted standard bearer. So perfect for skirmish games because if your your mounted man gets knocked off his horse, you got a dismounted version of them. Now, slightly oddly, you only get one metal horse um, and a sprue of plastic horses for this. Well, that's fair enough. I don't mind that. Once you've painted them up, you won't know, really know the difference. So. Yeah, there's your man on his horse. Actually, I think it's supposed to be this guy on this metal horse. Obviously, it doesn't really matter, but... Um, and then the others go on the plastics. So that's them. And I also picked up a pack of Norman, Lo Norman Lords. Norman Lords. As uh, lords and ladies, would be nice. Look at them, really, really good. So, they're all good characters again. And then, this is a pack of mounted Normans. Again, really nice sculpts. These have got lances or spears and shields. And again, you use the plastic horses for those. I thought they were really, really cool. And then also, I picked up some packs of outlaws. So, again, sharply packed. These are the bow armed guys. And these will do as sort of peasants in a, in a bigger army. We've got the guys with staves.
There we go. So these I think will be uh, good as, oh, you could use them as peasants or um, militia types or people defending their homes. And then we've got some with uh, outlaws with spears and outlaws with spears and bows. So that's what I picked up. Um, I think they look really sweet. I really like them a lot. Um, particularly the Normans. The Norman infantry were also very, very good. But I've got so many Norman infantry, I didn't pick any of those up. I just went for the mounted. Not that I haven't got loads of those too. But um, yeah, I'm going to paint these up, show you what they look like. So there you go. Uh, a couple of days later and I've painted these fellas up and um, I've really enjoyed doing them. To be absolutely honest, they leapt to the front of the queue um, because I just enjoyed, loved the look of them and I thought I can get them done nice and easily. And I decided to turn them into Knights Hospitlers, um, mainly because I like Knight Hospitlers. <laughs> Um, no idea what I'm going to use them for, probably Lion Rampant because everyone at the club seems to love that system at the moment. Um, but we'll see, I might uh, convert them also into something to do with Baron Wars. There's a new version of Baron Wars coming out which is uh, looking at Outremer. Um So when that comes out I might uh, might send these guys to, uh, to the Middle East. But um, yeah, just love them. Um, they're just such nice models um, and even though some of the well, probably the majority of these horses are plastic it's very difficult to tell actually you have to look really closely to see the joins um, but they painted up really nicely the detail on them is is very good they've got that sort of chunkiness of a figure um, which I think it just paints up beautifully um, let me show you this guy up close Try not to get out of focus come on don't. there you go just shows the lovely detail on it. I think it's um, it's got a chunkiness to it, which which I enjoy painting wise. Um, just shows, just takes the paint really nicely. Um, this guy, the standard bearer, again, lovely detail, but not excessive. Whoops, you know, kind of that. That, comp that that thing that happens with a figure, you want it to have enough detail, but not so much that it, well, for me anyway, becomes an absolute marathon to try and paint up. Um, and all I did with these was undercoated, as I normally do, with the light grey, um, Halford's light grey, which I really like. And um, then I've... Uh, base coloured them with um, a quite a dark red almost a, almost a mulberry kind of red um, did the leather and the gloves and what have you did all the, the base chainmail colour I did a sort of uh, oh, a basilicum grey contrast paint on the mail and then used a sort of aluminium uh, stainless steel sort of colour on top um, and then all I've done is wash it so the the red color i used the sepia wash and these the rest of the figure um was using the um uh oh gosh which one null oil um and just sort of then went back in put another coat of uh or used some um used a much brighter red matte red over the top just um to pick out the uh the folds and the top colours, did the redid the shields, um, sort of drag brushed over the over the silver with a bit more of the silvery colour, etc. Uh, etc. Et and I, th I think they've come out really nice and I'm very pleased with the effect. Now I have added some extra shields to these fellas because as you probably saw they didn't really come with any shields and I just felt they needed some so I went into the bits box and like this guy left-handed guy picked up a, an extra shield for him um, and um, I think it just works so there you go that's the the mounted guys finished and these are the dismounted versions of those figures um, again just exactly the same comments really they're they're chunky and nice to paint they take the paint really well Got enough detail that they uh, 
uh, they come out beautifully when you start really working through. Oops, let's get that in focus, on. There we go. Is that in focus? That is no, not quite. There you go. Um, yeah, chunky enough to take the paint and detail without being kind of sillyly so. Oops, there's our uh, musician. Again, I've turned them into uh, hospitalers. Now, probably what I will do because there's what uh, one, two, three, four, five, and the uh, cavalry are two, four, six, eight. So, I might at some point pick up another box of uh, just the normal dismounted infantry and paint them up in the same way. So, I basically got a figure to be a down, a dismounted version of those cavalry. Not sure whether I'll ever need it, but I just thought while I was doing them, I might as well do them that way. So very pleased with how these fellows came out. I think they're just really nice figures. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for some nice metal Normans, I don't think you can go far wrong with these Conquest uh, miniatures. I think they're just really, really nice indeed. So there you go. Uh, that was my uh, uh, Warfare purchase. Um, and very jolly pleased with how they've come out. I think they're nice figures and they'll be a nice addition to my medieval, uh, early medieval uh, figures. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, share, all that good stuff. Um, I'm uh, finishing off the boxer um, figures I've been working on. I've, got, I've just started work on a saga um, army to play Age of Alexander. Um, and I've got a couple of other things on the go, as always, with my oh, loads of Napoleonics on the go, because you can never have too many Napoleonics, can you? But uh, this was a nice break from that and um, made me think about all the footsaw um, Baron War figures I've got unpainted sitting in the uh, pile of opportunity. Maybe I'll delve into some of those a bit quicker than I was otherwise planning. Anyway, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you again soon. This is Dom, signing off. Mm -hmm.